In this lesson, we're going to look at the differences between word processing documents and page layout documents, along with when you would want to use each. The currently open document falls into the word processing category. Word processing documents are primarily text, and that text will flow automatically from one page to the next. This doesn't mean you can't place a lot of images and graphics. But those images, like this one, can be moved and the text is going to flow around it. Adjust the size of this image and I can make the text wrap around the box. I can even add a shape and depending on its size and settings, the text can flow and wrap around it. If I open one of the flyer templates, it comes in as a page layout document. The quickest way to know if what you have open is set up for page layout or word processing is to click on the document tab up here. If document body is not checked, then it's set up for page layout. If it is, like in the report document, it's set up as a word processing document. If I uncheck this to convert the page to layout, all the body text disappears. In a page layout document like this flyer, the document body checkbox is deselected, and every element exists on its own. Each image, piece of text, and the colored boxes in the background can be moved around and resized. If I paste in some new text into this text box, it doesn't automatically flow to a new page. This plus symbol appears, letting me know that there's overflow text and that the box either needs to be enlarged or text removed for it all to fit. New pages need to be added manually on page layout documents. In a word processing document, as text is added, a new page is going to be created automatically. So when you're first creating a document, think about its content and purpose to determine whether or not it should have the document body checkbox selected or not. 